Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be racing the Rain Advance Pro. In our first race, we got a couple events today. We've got short track, cross country, then long track, cross country, and then like an eliminator one lap sprint. So not sure how much is going to go into this video, but first we're going to like set up the bike. I got a couple new parts that I'll run through soon. Alright, so we've got a couple things for the race. Got some new grips. Went with the ODI Elite, I think this is the version 2's. So it's like got the soft at the top. Good grip on the bottom, so I'll be chucking these on. Then I went with the RockShop factory look mudguard for the front. So it's going to look pretty sick. Just bolts on using the factory mounting points on the fork, so it's going to look super clean. And then I am going to be racing in clips today because Today is more of like XC peddling and a lot of hills and stuff, so definitely need these to power on through. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is chuck on this mud guard and see how it looks. It's going to look a bit silly for an XC race, but it should help with mud flicking up in the front. So all registered, got my race plate, number 50, chuck the grips on, and a little mud guard. But now I'm going to pump the pressure about like 10 psi each front and rear, just to make it a bit stiffer. And then grease up the chain and pump the tyres up maybe, just to check the pressure. And then we'll get out on course. Alright, so we have our qualifying for our eliminator, so I'm going to chuck the GoPro on now. Just a lap of the course, seems all good. But I'll take the GoPro with me so you guys can see the lap. Hopefully it goes better than Rotorua. And I complete a qualifying lap and get it into the show. <laughs> Alright, so I'm sitting out for my seating lap. So each rider had to do one lap just to see how the heat's racked up. The fastest and slowest going off together, so all the heat's we seated by just a one lap sprint. So I decided to go off quite easy. Really slip around this corner down here. <laughs> Had to tiptoe around and then back onto the pedals. This was pretty much my warm up of the day because it's still quite early in the morning, about 9.30 ish, so the ground's still quite wet. So I was kind of just Feeling it out, didn't want to push too hard because it was going to be a long day of riding. This was the big climb of the course where it gradually went up, which made it a lot harder. I'm usually better at steep, pinchy climbs where I can just sprint up and get over and done with, but this was a longer grind, made it a bit harder. And then this was a new bit that I've never ridden before. You get to go around the back of the shed and kind of zigzag your way through this maze. Very interesting place. A little bit slippery, but you weren't going fast enough to be able to slide over, so you kind of just had to keep your pace steady, roll through. Zigzagging round into each of these little rooms. Hop over this. And then one last turn to get out of this area. And then we got these logs that we had to hop over. Super awkward. It's a kind of funny hop over, but not too far, otherwise, you hit the one in front. Got a cool step down here, rolled down. I was knackered by this point. Look at these wooden features. Last little zigzag. Cut back here. 
and then it was just a full sprint to the line just to see what time you got to rack up. And that was one full lap of the Eliminator course. Right, so we did a pretty chill lap for the qualifying. Maybe a bit too chill, and I'm not sure if I made it into the top 16, but it's knackered, didn't do a warm up, so that was my warm up. So just cruised around, pretty slippery track, very sketchy. So now we'll see what time we got, and we got a couple more races to go. Alright, so this is our quarter final, and we're off. We chose the inside line, so I thought it would give me a better opportunity in this corner. That seemed to pay out well. So the point of this race is the top two go through to the next round, and the bottom two riders get eliminated. It's four riders on course at a time, so currently sitting in the second position. Feeling good, all I have to do is finish in second, and I'll move on to the semi-finals. Guy in front's pulling away, and I was just trying to conserve some energy for this next climb. I had to slow right down for this slippery turn so I didn't have to unclip. Dropped a bit too low, but back onto that main line. Just trying to grind my way through, try to tag onto the back of the guy in front, but just a bit too far back. By now my legs are, are burning, quads were just burning up. Tried to do stretches and warm ups before this, but there's only so much you can do. That's where I really started to feel it. Just trying everything I could to hold on to the second position. Could hear the rider behind me creeping up. Try to stick to this inside so I'd get advantage around the corner. But I was giving it everything I had. And the guy just ended up having a bit more strength than me, passing me. Tried to tag on, thought I could recover through this section, and then make a final attack on that last straight. Then just slowly creeping away. This is only second lap of the day, so it's still going to be a long day, so I tried to just conserve some energy. Yeah, I started to try to put on an attack here, hop through here as quick as I could. Hook into the shed. Jump down, try to get a pump through pump over these as quick as I could. Got pretty close to the back wheel of them. And then right here is where it's a make or break. Had to get on the pedals. And just try to sprint my way onto the back of them, but I just had nothing left. I was just done by now. And that was me getting eliminated in the quarterfinal. So that was first eliminator heat done and dusted. Went all out, tried to hold on for second place, and just the legs cramped up just before about halfway and tried to recover through the easier bit and push for a sprint finish, but just a bit too late, a bit too far back and the legs are sore. Try to recover now because we still got more races to go, but bike running mint, new grips were good, mud guards really good. Didn't have all the wet grass and mud flying up, so super good. Might have something to eat and then try to get these quads moving because they're cramping out really bad. Probably should have done a bit of warm up, but oh well, we're here, we're out racing, so see what we can do in the next race. All right, so we're gonna go for a banana, some water, try to get some recovery on, so bloody knackered. All right, so next up, it looks like we got the XC short track, so it's about a 18 minute race plus a lap I'm pretty sure so it's probably gonna be like a 25 minute 20 minute race depends if I'm on that lead group or not which I'm not too sure because I'm pretty knackered just gonna pace myself going for overall points since there's four events and they all got points towards the overall so we're just gonna try stay consistent across all the events and see how well we do <laughs> Oh, Chris! 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 Oh,
<laughs> so this was the short course track that was a bit long the eliminator if you added in an extra climb and like descending but made a really fun track used to this track because we do it usually on a Monday night but just cut down a bit shorter didn't get the best start through here so I had to try to pick off some riders but I didn't want to go all out on this first lap and blow up I did think about the congestion that was going to come up here that get into the trail it goes really single file so I tried to pick off as many riders as I could I think this was the best I could get and try not to unclip here because end up holding up people. A few riders got back by and then this was dropping into our first descent so I just seat down and just off the brakes and try to recover. Full speed until I hit the rider in front so I gotta just manage that. A couple jumps through here pump through and through these rollers already out of breath and we're only a couple minutes into the lap so this was the big climb had to lock out the suspension for this climb all the way back up to the top probably the hardest bit of the course I will right, turn here the top. And as well as the eliminator we had this section at the end of the lap to cut through all here. And then over these rollers again. And then through the shed and a step down. these wooden features. And that was one full lap of the short course. So this race went for 18 minutes and the race finished with the whatever lap you're on at that time. Yeah, it's gnarly. So I'm just trying to hold on at the moment to get some points for the overall for the club champ, so this way I was doing all the events on the enduro bike. Probably could have set this bike up a bit better for gypsy riding, with the flip chip in a different setting and maybe put my seat a bit higher and stuff, but didn't have enough time to test out. Cool little jump there that I was eyeing up for the next lap, but I was a bit too close to the rider in front so I couldn't send it. And then around the corner for the big climb. I was pretty much done by now and we're about 10 minutes into the race. Legs were burning up. Just trying to hold onto the rider in front. It's just slowly slipping back. And then round the back again into this shed area. It's a nice place to recover back here, you get just easy pedaling around the zigzags, but then straight back into here. I was pretty much done. Couldn't even bunny hop on this lap. Hop down through here, hopping over these features. Around the zigzag. You can see how slow I'm going. I'm just barely holding on, making this bike work. And that was across the line onto our final lap now. Just had to get through this lap and see if I could pick off any more riders. 
rider still just in front but just wasn't close enough to make a pass. This was a good recovery where you could just go no brakes, try to catch your breath, but then straight around this corner into a slight uphill. And this is where I went for it, went for this gap, but came up a bit short, but pretty fun to do that jump. Only jump on the course, that was like gnarly. And then we had one more climb, I was right on that rider, but I just couldn't get past. Ended up getting passed by another rider, it was slowly slipping back. Last time through the shed on the step down over these wooden features these were getting harder each lap because just getting so tired around the last corner and then it was pretty much just a sprint to the finish and this was only our like first race of the short course and then we had long course after this so we were in for a long day All right, so we just finished up on the XE short track. It's about a 20 minute race, about three laps, absolutely knackered. Just trying to pace myself through, keep just falling back and back. Kind of a strong start. Took a while to get into that first track and then kind of didn't really pass anyone from there. Tried to go for the gap jump on the last lap, came up well short and just bottomed out the suspension. Pretty fun little race. It's good to do all these events, but now in an hour we've got the big XC race, so this is a 60 minute race, but I'm going to put that one in the next video. I think I have an eliminator race after the XC long course, just to get like an 8th through to 12th place. So we'll see how we do on that, but I'll be pretty knackered. And then we got enduro practice after that, because tomorrow we've got enduro race, so. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, stay tuned for next race if you want to see how this giant rain does in the XE so hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next one.